In that book, all I talk about is what financial security looks like, how to process financial security. Because once you become secure, you're free. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to be rich to be financially secure. That's another myth that a lot of people have, that you have to have uh, $10 million in the bank. And then and, and, and there's no amount of money that's too much or, or whatever. That's that's I don't agree with that. I think you can I know I know people that make forty thousand dollars a year who are financially secure and, and financially free. So um, so what that means for you is 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 going to differ person by person. But I encourage you to get that. So then at that point, you'll be able to kind of move and shake and do what you got to do without feeling like you're you're oppressed and controlled and constrained and all these other things uh, that that is not necessary. And just so you know, um, you know, my wife helped me create the black financial therapy department in the black business school, because what we found in our research was that a lot of our uh, barriers to freedom and happiness and whatever are driven by trauma trauma that we experience, right? And so maybe you have some financial trauma that gets you to the point where you become financially addicted. You have to keep making more money or you never feel financially secure or you're you you, you you're so scared to, to leave the plantation that you can't start that business or whatever. So I encourage you to get that help so you can really become whole psychologically because slavery did a number on you. Slavery, there is such a thing as the slave mentality. There is such a thing as post-traumatic slave disorder. There is such a thing as, as, uh, as, as significant um, amounts of uh, anxiety and depression that that exists among black people. And a lot of this is due to the fact that you're economically constrained. They bring you into the world as a slave. You're forced to live as a slave. 